The color of the skin is in no way connected with strength of the mind or intellectual powers. Those are the words of Benjamin Banneker, and his entire life was proof of what he said. His math skills were so impressive that at age 22, he built a clock, carving all the gears himself out of wood. Banneker then went to work for a surveyor, laying out a 10 mile by 10 mile square of land. His job was to make the astronomical observations necessary to lay out that square of land perfectly. That square, by the way, became the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. Banneker used his tremendous scientific knowledge to publish an almanac so that everyone from farmers to sailors would know when the high tide would be, what time the sun would setting, the phases of the moon. He calculated all this and laid it out in an almanac. Banneker's accomplishments are celebrated in books with an honorary postage stamp. And across this country, there are schools, elementary schools, high schools, academies, charter schools named in his honor. As great of a mathematician and scientist as Banneker was, he wasn't all math and science. He wrote to Thomas Jefferson complaining how Jefferson was all for the rights and liberties of people, but at the same time owned slaves himself. Banneker wrote Jefferson that, quote, you should at the same time be found guilty of that most criminal act which you professedly detested in others, end quote. In the end, we'll always remember Benjamin Banneker as a great mathematician and scientist. <laughs>